What is up guys, Codename Alejo here. As some of you may know, I am a content creator, a, a small content creator for FGC, for the FGC and uh, some indie, mainly indie and retro gaming in Spanish. But today I decided to, you know, pick it up and do a small video in English. It's a tutorial for the training mode. For those of you who are already on board playing Fightgate, this is going to be really interesting for you. So this is assuming that you already know how to play in fight game. You you are regular, maybe or you're starting. Who knows? But at any case, uh, we may need or we may be looking for the training mode. So thanks to these two guys, Ralphlon. I don't know if I'm butchering it, but Peon Two and Rooflon. These guys have uploaded the scripts. So what you're gonna need to do, I'm gonna leave the links down here below. So there's two files you need to download. The first one is the Peon 2, which says FB Neo training mode and also third strike. Oh, well, third training mode. And it means exactly that, right? So there's a bunch of games that are supported under here under the FB Neo training mode. And only one game is, is a standalone script for third strike uh, Street Fighter 3. So just that, right? Click here and then go to file and download. Whoops. Not here in the code section <laughs> download the zip file see you got to do it the right way so you choose wherever you want it to be downloaded and same for the other one the third strike you click on it code and then go to download zip same thing and then you are going to basically put this wherever you want you can leave it anywhere uh, as a personal preference i go to the the folder where i have fight kit installed I go into the emulator. As you can see, I have it already here. A couple of versions of this script. I'm gonna do it again just to, you know, to do it as normally one would do it. So open your preferred uh, zip file handler, or whatever this is called, and you can drag it and drop it so you can extract it. In this case, I'm not gonna do it, but that's what you would do, right? For both of these files, you would extract it. As I said, anywhere you want, as a per personal preference, I do it here. So you are going to end up with several files. Oh, where's the other one? The third strike thing. Yep. And there we go. So we have them, right? So next thing you're going to fire up the game you want. And this is a, as a small overview. I'm going to fire it up fight gate. But before I do, I'm going to show you a little bit. As I said, this is just for fight gate uh, for a third strike. I mean, then uh, the FB Neo Training Mode Master. If we go into this folder, there's a folder called Games. So the list, this is actually the list of individual games that are supported here. So a little bad news for some of you because your favorite game may not be here. For example, we have Art of Fighting 1, 2, and 3. We have, I see Breakers Revenge. I see Cyberbots. I see a Dragon Ball Z game, Double Dragon. I see Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury Special, Fatal Fury 3, Garou, etc. So uh, here in the KOF section, we only have a, a handful of them. KOF 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 2000, 2001. So I'm pretty sure there's special versions in between and, and you know very specific things that are, are not going to be there. So sadly, that's, that's not going to be available for you guys. but. If so, basically, as a, a rule of thumb, if it's not here, if it doesn't have a folder here, it's not compatible with this training mode. So, as I said, it's a third strike. This is a very special case. So, we're, we're going to start with this one because it has its own file. And we're going to fire up the game, test game, because this is only available offline. You cannot do training online yet. Maybe in the future it will be possible. So, you're going to boot the game. Make sure that your controllers are configured and now this is a little, oh, it's right here. It's a little particular thing that's going to happen just in third strike. I don't know why. Um, normally you can do everything with one controller, but in third strike, you seem to need two of them. So um, we're going to do this. Click on game, click on the second option that says Lua scripting. Over here, it says new Lua script window. And then you're going to have a browse window where you're going to manually select where the file is. So 
third strike. And the, the one you're looking for is the one that ends on the extension LUA, Lua. You're going to double click on it and then you're going to run it with this button right here. Yeah, that, that tends to happen. So what you're going to do is every single game, you need to pay attention to this. This is it tells you basically how the training mode works. Sometimes it's the coin button. Sometimes it's the, uh, the start button that leads to the menu. So we're going to pick our character here. Let me let me take this uh, full screen. So the training mode is running now. Now, if we follow the instructions in here, it says that in, in recording mode. So by pressing the coin button, you take control of the second player. Now, that's a little confusing because I'm doing exactly what it says. And the problem is that I cannot press start at the same time as I am uh, working with this menu. So as a workaround for that, just for this game, right? We are going to need another controller or maybe your keyboard and you need to map manually the start button on that second controller. I know it's a little weird, but... And starting from that point, when you already have uh, the second player is already inserted the coin, for example. Hold on. Oh, yeah. See, it's a little janky. It, it should work better. But the menu screen doesn't work here on the character select screen. So you are manually going to be needed to pick a character with the other controller or the keyboard or whatever you, you set it up with. But when you're in the game itself, now things are much different. When you press start, this menu shows up. So as you can see, it has one, two, three, four, five different uh, tabs, which they all do separate things, right? The dummy, the pose, everything you would normally see on a training mode for a, for a current gen game, right? So tech throws, you can random, this is really good. Locking, same, uh, random, or first hit. The first hit is normally what you use to confirm that your combo is a real combo, right? And and all of these things, right? If you fast wake up or not, or you, they delay it. This is something you have to take good understanding and, and take care of. Infinite time always, is, it should be always enabled, but the meter is not always enabled, uh, like a super meter, right? meter refill infinite you have these options depending on how you want to do the training recording display etc so here we see the hit boxes for oh i'm controlling player two as you can see on the upper right corner it says slot one recording if you press the coin button it stops recording so from the beginning normally you're player one right the dummy is player two Hit the coin button once and you play back anything you have recorded. But if you tap it twice, then you record the actions that you want, right? That's good enough. So, there we go. Tap it once again to stop recording. And then when you tap it once again, it will go ahead and start doing what you recorded right so again two taps to record maybe it's something you need to practice your air juggles or your anti airs so we're gonna do it just like that now play back here so stuff like that right it depends so you can see here how the hitboxes disappear once the the throw is activated like it normally would. I mean, a lot of good stuff, right? That's it for Third Strike. Keep in mind that the menu in this one works very differently than the other games in Fight Kit. So, as always, read these instructions on the small window. 
And when you're done using the game or using the, the training script, always hit on stop. You stop the script and then you can close the window. Uh, that's mainly to avoid any issues, right? So the next game is an SNK game, is a Neo Geo game. Just to show you same mechanics, but this time we're going to use the other file. So you boot it up, you boot up the game. You go to the second option, Lua scripting, new Lua script window. You hit browse and then you go to the place where you saved the training mode for every other game, right? Except third strike. So it's on FB Neo training mode in my case. And then the one you're looking for, is called FB Neo training mode Lua. All right. So hit run, never forget to hit run. And then the set of instructions show up right here. Uh, um, let's see it. Let's see it because it's a little different. And this this one you hit start you hit coin twice sorry and then you can control the second player from the menu from the character selection menu you hit coin twice again and you're back in control of your own character of the player one side i mean then you pick the order you know the usual stuff uh, one thing I didn't mention, but you saw it maybe on the on the third strike, is that on the left you can see the button presses, which is sometimes useful to make sure that your inputs are clean. And, you know, same thing here. Uh, the the hitboxes are present, but one thing I wanted to address with the Neo Geo games, if you notice, we do have infinite time. It's a little bit glitched, but there is infinite time. But the life bar, what's going on with the life bar? So. Uh, we have to access the menu, which in this case, it says here that oh, the menu is open by pressing the coin button four times or hold the button. I prefer that method. So hold the coin button two seconds and release it. And then you see this menu. You got to get used to how it's handled because you can only, even though it's a vertical list, you can only scroll with left and right. Here, I'm going down, but I'm only pressing right. It's a little confusing in the beginning, but you know, change the hitbox settings, max meter meters. With the button, with the light punch button, whichever you have set it up to, uh, that is how you press. I'm, I'm highlighting the corner right there to advance to the next page. So this is important because you can set the direction uh, the second player is holding Again, just left and right are your directions you choose. And this is what you want instant health refill on. There are many other options, but I'll leave that to, to be explored by you guys. Press the coin button once again, and then you can see that it's doing the action I set it up with that I want it to be always jumping. And look at the life bar. It's already refilling, so now it is. I mean, you, you can still deactivate the refill so you can kill you can beat the the team members one by one like you would in a real fight i i guess that's the point of that but um you know the other thing is that the damage is not displayed here i don't know why in neo geo neo geo games they haven't managed to do it but it is what it is right so that's it for this game again we're gonna go stop the script Oh, jeez. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm recording, but the mouse tends to disappear. And then we're going to go to this. This is a CPS3 game. It's uh, the second JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Let's see how the how it works here. So we're going to go again. Game. Lua scripting. Browse. And again, right? You got to pick. FB Neo training mode and run it. Two coin presses, you're going to record the action, set up inputs or swap inputs, sorry, with three coin presses and four or hold it gives you the, the swap or, or opens up the menu. I mean, sorry, we're going to do that, right? We're going to pick the other player so we can hit start. I'm going to pick the dude with the sword who whom I keep forgetting what his name is. And Shadow Dio, oh, regular Dio. 
Oh, and by the way, if you want to have someone else helping you out with the training, oh, this is this is something. I, I, it's good that it happened. Sometimes for some games, I don't know why, 5K tends to uh, du duplicate the inputs, right? So right now I'm not swapping inputs. I'm, I'm only playing left side, right? So what you need to do is go to the map game inputs and make sure that you don't have any conflicting inputs in the player two side, right? So you're going to double click on each input, sorry, double click on it and clear input for those that are conflicting. So what was happening there is that for some reason, I didn't do that. The light punch uh, on player one is also the stand button on player two. Who knows why that is, right? But let's see if I press on my buttons on the left side, nothing happens on the right side, which is what I want, right? On this game, on this game, you do have a combo meter, you do have a damage meter and a total. So it's it's a little different, right? And you do see the, the inputs on the left by holding the coin button. You're going to go to this menu, which is the same way. So basically for every game that is not third strike, the layout of the menu, whether it's an SNK game or a Capcom game or any of the other compatible games will be the very same ones so you can also uh, you know check on the meter the super meter the health bars in here right so it's super useful and yeah there you see right <laughs> so good times right in this case in this particular hack it doesn't look at dio's life it doesn't regenerate immediately but it does eventually do it so that's good so yeah remember this is a big deal because it's an arcade game right normally this would not would never be possible but these scripts are basically hacks that we're pushing into the game so that these kind of things are possible so because of that these two guys have, have put a lot of time and effort Again, shout outs to them and thank you for all you guys do for the community, the retro gaming community and the fighting game community. Uh, and as such, and you, you know, they're doing it out of their effort. Do not expect this to be perfect. Uh, it's a work in progress. They're, they're always updating it. And as I said, uh, the games that show up on these folders are the available games. Uh, some time ago, Alpha 3 was not available, but now it is. King of Fighters 2001, I think, was not even here. Now it is. So stuff like that, right? So that's why I'm going to leave you the link to these guys' GitHub page so you can follow their work and, and see what they're publishing, right? So whenever needed, you can update the scripts and see what goodies <laughs> they put in it, right? All right, guys. That's it for this video. Shoutouts to Sofo Sama. He's the person who inspired me to make this video. Uh, he's a, also a content creator, a fighting game community member, uh, not only retro, but current gen. He plays a little bit of everything. A really funny guy, a really entertaining uh, content creator. So I recommend you to go to his channel, subscribe, because he's about to reach 1,000 subscribers. So help him out, hook him up. He is a great content creator otherwise I, I don't I don't normally do this I don't normally recommend people but it, he's someone I regularly watch it's not I'm not just shilling or something like that so go over there and enjoy the games enjoy the videos same here right if you like the content like subscribe and support my channel so that's it guys thanks for watching see you next time